to graph this inequality on the xy graph, so on two axes, instead of just a single number line graph like we did before, we need to sort of investigate what it means to put the information that we had on a single axis onto both of them. When we only had one axis, when we just had a number line like we do here, we would just take the point, oops, sorry, that's a 0, not a 5, we would just take the point that x could be, in this case anything bigger than 4, and graph it on the line, shading it in, like this. So we're going to do the same thing over here, only the difference now is that not only can x be where y is 0, so right on the coordinate plane, but it can also be anything to the right that's up here, or up here, or down here, or down here, and so on. y can be anything we want as long as x is greater than 4. So instead of just having a single line going to the right, we're going to have a whole shaded area. It's going to look like this. The one thing we have to do to make sure that we're noting that it's just greater than negative 4 and instead of greater than or equal to is on the line where we mark uh, positive 4. Sorry, I said negative 4, I meant positive 4. We have to make it a dashed line. So by making that a dashed line, we can see that that line itself is not included, but that right up to it, as close as we want to get to it, is included. And then we shade everything to the right here to show that all of these numbers over here to the right are included. Alright, to graph this inequality, we have the absolute value of y is less than 5, which means that either y needs to be less than positive 5, or greater than, which is less negative than, negative 5. So it tells us that y needs to be between negative 5 and positive 5. Less than positive 5, or more than negative 5. So what we need to do is draw a couple of lines here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's y equals 5. And there is y equals negative 5. So what we do is draw a dashed line at both of those places, like this, to show that those are our markers. And then we do the dashed line to show that those actual points aren't included. And then we just shade everything between them like so, to show that all the numbers between negative, negative 5 and positive 5 are included in this graph. And if you like to see it a little more accurately, there we go. You can see dashed lines top and bottom, and then the shading in between.